a real easy and nifty way to customize your existing pick card. Um, the advantage of customizing your pick card rather than buying a new pick card is that um, A, it'll cost you a little bit less, but more importantly, you don't have to worry about the holes not matching up, which can happen quite uh, frequently with, uh, with uh, pick cards. Wallopus, drum wrap, wallopus.com. Um, all our 222 finishes that we make in drum wrap, we also make in this uh, pick card uh, wrap material, which is um, fairly thick. It's not at all like those car wraps that you see that scratch very easily. This is extremely durable stuff. It, it, it won't scratch, crack. It, I mean, it's extremely, extremely durable. It's also quite flexible and a lot thicker than those uh, car wraps uh, and much easier to install. It doesn't wrinkle easily and you don't get air bubbles very easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut out uh, a little bit more than what we need for this particular project. Just roughly like this. So the difference between this and our drum wrap is um, that this is a little bit more flexible so that it's not so hard to install. And we put pressure sensitive adhesive on the back and it's a very strong pressure sensitive adhesive. If you can consider it a permanent installation, um, it's not going to come off very easily. Um, you can get it off if you ever had to by using heat. But like I said, you shouldn't count on it. It's, it. You should consider it a permanent installation, even though it is possible to get it off if you really, really had to by using heat. So now that we got that cut out and somewhat fit like that, um, this particular finish is called Biohazard Avalon. Um, just if you're curious. Like I said, all 222 finishes that we have in our drum wrap selection is also available in uh, Pickguard Wrap. So what we're going to do is, just fold back a little bit of the uh, backing paper and then again line this up to fit over the entire pick guard so that we make sure that nothing's sticking out like that and then we just press down on the corner that we just lifted the backing film on. Like I said, um, this stuff is thick enough and stiff enough that it doesn't wrinkle very easily or uh, leave any air bubbles behind very easily, but it's flexible enough that it's uh, conformant and quite easy to install. Um, and this surface, it's got, um, so the actual thickness, if you're familiar with, um, with these terms, is about 18 mil, which is 18 thousandths of an inch. It's about the thickness of a credit card. Obviously, it's not as stiff as a credit card, but it's about the same thickness as a credit card. Um, it's a little bit thinner than our drum wrap. Um, and that's just because we omitted some unnecessary layers on the back of it, which are completely not necessary for this application. Uh, and like I said, instead we added pressure sensitive adhesive on the back of it because that is very convenient for this particular application. So we're just going to work this all the way on top like this. Until we have the entire pick guard. Just for fun at a trade show, it's hard for people to believe that a very flexible material like this can also be very durable. So at a trade show, I was just showing people, I took my car key and started harassing a piece of, of this stuff. And I harassed it pretty darn good with the car key, just kept scratching at it, gouging at it, like chopping at it with my car key. And then handed that piece to a 
to the fella in front of me. And he was really impressed. He was blown away by how uh, how undamaged it was. I mean, you could see that I had been harassing it, but it wasn't it wasn't nearly what you would have expected. So then, what you're going to do? Uh, get an X-Acto knife with a fresh new blade. You want to have a sharp blade for this because that trace is easier. And we're just going to trace the edge. Usually I do this at the edge of a table, but I won't be able to do that on this video because then I can't really show it very well what I'm doing. So instead, I'm going to do it like this. So what you want to do is you want to insert the knife at the same angle as the bevel, or insert the blade at the same angle as the bevel of the pick guard, and you want to get it through like that. I don't know if you can see on the video that that poked through, but it's through there. And then you just simply trace the outline like that. Be careful, please, folks. Um, these exacto knives are sharp. And uh, one of the hardest things to clean on a work surface, I know this from personal experience, is blood. It's very messy and also it can be quite painful to, to gouge yourself. And then all you've got to do is trace like that. Don't worry if it's not perfect the first time because you can go back once you get the first chunk off like that you have an added advantage of being able to see what you're doing a lot better and you can just kind of come back and wiggle it a bit until You've got the results you were looking for. So, now once we've cut out the outline and uh, the pickup holes, of course we need to do the screw holes. There are two ways of doing the screw holes. There's uh, uh, the neatest way to get perfect results without really having much skill at this is to simply drill the holes from the back side and then use a countersink or a larger bit to uh, to make the uh, countersink bevel on the front side. Um, but if you're just too lazy to get the drill out, you can use the X-Acto knife for this too, which is what I'm going to do here. I just poke a little guide hole from the back and then from the front um, insert it and do a little, a little twirl around like this. And that gets the hole out and countersunk at the same time. I have a friend whose name is Andy. He is wicked at this whole process with the X-Acto knife. Much, much, much better than me. He cuts out a pickguard like this in two minutes and it comes out perfect. He just kind of, he just got a nice steady hand for this kind of work. But with patience, anyone can get good results with this. You just gotta take your time if you're not, if it isn't the kind of work that you're used to doing. Um, with patience, you will get good results. Um, so this material, our guitar wrap, comes in um, a few different sizes. Um, the the one that's really intended for if all you're doing is a pick guard is 13 by 11, I think. Um, we also make it in larger sizes for entire bodies. You can do the whole front of a guitar, especially if it's a, a flat top like a telly or something like that. But it will to some degree contour as well. If you look on the instructions on our website, you can see a guy that did a, an explorer with contoured edges. And uh, there are ways of sneaking around the edge and making it look really good. Um, and then we have them in, in sizes that are suitable for um, for headstock, for uh, control cavity covers, for the back spring cover on a Strat, or yeah, just about any size that could be needed on a on a guitar. So almost done here. I just got to do a bunch of these holes, and they're boring, but. How it is. I hope you guys will uh, go to wallopus.com and check out our uh, various 
uh, guitar wraps, drum wraps, and uh, check out all our 222 finishes that this stuff is available in. And if you don't find a finish that you like among our 222 standard finishes, we do custom at extra cost. You can even provide your own artwork or photos or um, whatever you may be looking for. We can do it for you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope this was helpful, and I'll uh, see you again in another video soon.